Hey everybody. Uh, so I guess it's been a while since uh, I last saw you guys. Um, so a couple things. Uh, first, I, uh, I'm here to tell you that I'm starting a new project. Uh, not on this channel, it's a new channel uh, called The Overanalyzers. Uh, and it, it is a show between myself and my younger brother, Dan, uh, where we talk about things related to self-learning, you know, being self-taught, pursuing things on our own, uh, you know, pursuing our hobbies and interests. Uh, my brother, Dan, is uh, a self-taught artist. He locked himself in a room for a couple years uh, and learned to be a fantastic artist. And then he got a job at a famous, prestigious uh, design studio and, and does work for uh, National Geographic and uh, Halo and a bunch of others that are super cool. So he's this huge success story on that. Um, and I'm somebody who, I, I know you guys kind of know me from the music side because uh, I, I went to school for music and obviously this channel's about music, but I'm also a self-taught uh, software developer and I you know have had a career in that for, for a while. Um, and I didn't go to school for that either. I just taught myself. Uh, so that's kind of our, our common interest. Uh, and that's the types of things that we're talking about on, on this new show. Um, we did an episode on obsession and how that's one of the main driving factors uh, behind most successful people and, and most things that we tend to become good at. Uh, we've got one coming up soon on procrastination and why procrastination is an emotional problem not a uh, time management problem, which is how most people like to think about it. Um, anyway, it's st stuff like that. Perfectionism, we've been talking a lot about perfectionism, uh, that kind of thing. So I'm hoping that, I know that you guys are music people and you're interested in music theory, but I'm hoping that that kind of stuff applies to you too. Uh, it's the something that I'm actually super passionate about and I uh, I never really got a chance to get into that kind of thing on this channel. It just didn't totally fit. You know, we've been focused on music theory, but I have extremely strong feelings about formal education, uh, the way information is taught and presented, um, and just how we pursue knowledge and understanding in our own, our own lives. Um, I think some people happen to be very good at it and some people happen to be very bad at it. And we hardly ever question why or what's the difference and what, what is it that makes somebody do so well, you know, being self-taught and somebody not do well. And that's the kind of thing that I've always really wanted to, to talk about. Anyway, that's our new show. Um, I really hope that you guys are interested and, and would check it out. Um, and then the other thing that kind of needs addressing is why I disappeared for the past two or three years. Um, I haven't really been active on this channel at all. Um, so the answer to that is complicated. And uh, one of the first shows that we did on this this new show uh, was me talking through that entire thing, why I disappeared, um, what went wrong for me. Uh, the short version is that things got to a point where I, it, it, I said this in the show, but it's almost like the opposite of burnout. I, I don't know the word for it, but it's like things became so important to me. I, I had cared so much about the channel doing well and, and putting out this content and, and working really hard. Like I think my perfectionism started to get the best of me and there's a lot of pressure that built up and it wound up just becoming too much. And I just kind of stopped. It's like, I couldn't really do it anymore. Um, Anyway, that's something that we talk about at length if you guys are interested in understanding why that happened to me. Uh, and I think it's a pretty good um, cautionary tale, I guess, for uh, anyone else pursuing something. I, I don't think we tend to think about that kind of thing and, and how that stuff goes wrong. I don't even think there's a name for it. But I, I've witnessed it in many other YouTube uh, creators myself, just people that I'm personally interested in. Uh, and it, it's something that happened to me and that's one of the things that we kind of talk through. So anyway, if you're kind of wondering where I went, hopefully you can maybe get a little bit of clarity with, with that if you want to check that out. Um, so anyway, the last thing is this channel. So obviously I haven't, haven't been active. Um, I 
don't have as much as I want to say I'm coming back and I got I got stuff to do as much as that's maybe the right thing to say or what I want to um I don't have immediate plans of doing more uh music theory content I want to I've wanted to for a really long time um but for now I'm focused on this new this new project uh I, I'm really hoping it's something that that works and it winds up being valuable for people. And if not, that's fine too. But um, that's what I want to put some energy into right now. So this channel is currently still kind of in limbo. I'm not really sure what the next step is, is for this. Uh, but hopefully I will get to a place where I can do something more comfortably with, with this channel in the future. Um, but if nothing else, um, even if you don't follow me on that new project, uh, I want to say thanks to all of you for being amazing. I've always thought that the audience on this channel was incredible. Um, so thanks for that. Thanks for watching me do music theory stuff. So hopefully I will see you over there. Thanks.